and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Here at the Cove, we do budgeting, minimal planning, regular planning, DIYs. We talk business from time to time and credit scores. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, I hope you would um, consider subscribing, also hitting that notification bell and let's get into it. So this week we will be doing our paycheck to paycheck, um, weekly check-in for me, but um, also you can find, I never kind of hardly ever mention it, but you can find these breakdowns and inserts in my shop, www.norriscove.com. Um, also, let's look at what we have going on for the month of April. Let's look at what's coming up this week. In case we need to make any notes, we are um, on the week of the 4th through the 10th. Um, Walmart has already been paid and came out. Credit One comes out today. Well, Credit One is due today, but being that I'm like a month ahead, I don't have to pay that. But I think we want to give them $50 anyway. And if I was getting paid through Shopify, the payment would come out. Sometimes it comes, um, not come out, it would come on Wednesday instead of Tuesday. And nothing on the 7th, and Friday is my sister's birthday, so I need to get her a card, maybe a gift card, so I will put that in my notes. So, let's hop on in. Uh, let's do a different color this week. We've been doing green. Let's do pink. I don't know the number. <laughs> let's do pink this week. And as usual, I have my A6 here as my cheat sheet. Let's get to finances. And here we are. The 4th through the 10th. I'll just have that over to the side. Okay. Per usual, our three sources of income. Hair nails and Norris Cove hair um I've been doing 750 last week I was I could have made more that's something else we got to go over that we got to go over last week's budget as well um but I'm gonna put 750 again nails I do have two clients that I know of this week so we're gonna put 60 and Norris Cove I'm trying to work on new releases so We'll see, we'll just put 50 for now. And that's $860 as our total. Okay, next up, bills due this week. We have, I wrote Walmart down, but Walmart's, let me break it down. <laughs> because I'm self-employed, so I left money in my account. Went ahead and paid Walmart last week, but knew that Walmart would not come out until this week. So we're not writing Walmart down. Um, first up, let's put um, credit one. And that's actually due today. I'm a little behind. And we're going to give them $50, even though we don't have to give them anything. Even though that's not our minimal amount, we're just going to give it to them anyway. Next up, Shopify. I have the money in my account for Shopify. Um, it's on this list. So let's go ahead and put Shopify, but it will not be coming out of this income. That money is already there. So um, let's just put it down. The money from last week covered Shopify. It should be $59.31, I believe, last I looked. It goes up when I purchase shipping. So um that was supposed to come out on the third normally they're in my account on the third they weren't in there so let's just put the fourth um we did credit one Canva, i believe comes out on the seventh and that should be 1377 unless they've gone up um community i paid them last week and i think they are on let's see they should be on last week's they are. They're right here from last week. So they haven't came out yet, but it was used, money from last week was used for that. Um, and that's where I think I'm going to go going forward is to, I, that's working for me, like knowing a bill is due, keeping that money in that account, 
um, maybe cut back some spending somewhere. So that way I'm always kind of ahead, if that makes sense. And booth rent. Booth rent will be the eighth. And that's two fifty. I feel like something's missing. Like, even though it's not, I just feel like it. Um, let's do a little calculating, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead down, jump to my notes, and put my sister's birthday, and that I need to get her a, a card and a gift card. Okie dokie. And then this week, if anything's left over, we're going to tackle some debt. Um, I have money for my cash envelopes from last week. I'm thinking about maybe combining it with this week to have a lot to stuff. Or just maybe just do a midweek stuffing and then start over again next week. Okay. Um, let's do some totaling. So that is three hundred seventy-three dollars and eight cent. All right, subtract from eight sixty. That leaves us with four eighty-six ninety-two. We're just going to make it four eighty-six. And I'm going to move that 486 up here. Now, I want to give Barclays extra 50. I want to give Citibank an extra 50. Um, and I believe I may give Barclays, I think it's like... $2,251 in some sense. So I want to probably round it out to $251. I mean, $51, but then maybe on its actual date, give me a $200. Um, oh, we also have to start saving for T Mobile. So it's not necessarily debt. I'm just going to put that down here in fund T Mobile. And we want to give put 50 aside for T-Mobile because I'm trying to get on time with that. Um, we're not really doing cash envelopes right now because that's mainly my digital stuff until we can get some other stuff taken care of. So, and then I want to put 50 in savings or emergency fund. I'm going to put savings and then I'll put emergency fund 50. All right, let's see what we have. So this will be a hundred. Subtract that will be three eighty six. We're gonna bring that here, and then this is a hundred and fifty. Subtract three eighty six would be two thirty six, I believe. Two thirty six should be two thirty six. Let me double check that. Yep, 236. So this is what we'll have left. This is probably, um, if any fun cash envelope fund, it would be um, miscellaneous. I know I spend about $100 miscellaneous a week. And there'll be a little bit more, but um, that'll probably be a little bit of eating out. So, yeah, I think we did pretty good. Put that back. So, yeah, so now let's go over last week's budget. I try to do that off the break. So this is not bad, and also too with this 236. Again, I am not zero based budget budgeter, but um, just in case we fall below, we still get everything paid, even if we don't put extra to Barclays, even if we don't put extra to Citibank, um, savings, T-Mobile, all that good stuff. Um, we still have some room, you know. Okay, so let's go over last week really quickly. I had to print out some more paychecks to paychecks. 
out of all the inserts that I've ever made, I think these are my actual favorite because it's universal for self-employed people, entrepreneurs, and people who receive um, checks. Okay, so here's last week. I didn't update it, but we ended up making 700. I could have made almost eight, but I was tired from the week before, so I turned down a couple of people. I didn't do any nails last week. Norris Cove, she made some money last week. I didn't check, but we're going to put her at like mm, 58, I think. And so it'll be 758. And GoDaddy, did GoDaddy come out? I think it did. Booth Ring got paid, cloth and paper, Amazon. And then I have community here. I've paid them. They just haven't come out. Um, and then I have here a note if extra pay extra on credit one and Walmart. So these are coming out this week. That's another thing. Let me add this over here. Let me just highlight this or either make a note. I'd rather make a little note. Let me find a little sticky note. I prefer the small ones. But here I'm going to put a note. Um, pay off. Walmart, if extra, okay. And that'll go right here. Okay, so this is this week's budget for April 4th through the 10th. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these um, debt, I mean, excuse me, budget videos and budgeting with me. I'm just putting all my business out here on Front Street. <laughs> and... I know it kind of seems weird for a hairstylist to be making as less as I do, but keep in mind, I'm in my fourth quarter of doing hair, so I'm not doing a whole lot. Um, I would love to retire, but I can't afford to retire, as you can see. So, yeah, so um, I probably could do more, plus we were in a pandemic. It's a long story. I'll get into that story, probably one of my podcasts of how... Um, I started making less in the hair business because at one point I did really, really good. I was making thousands of dollars a week. But um, sometimes God humbles you so that when you're making less, you spend less and you learn to manage less because he's not going to bless you if you can't manage a little bit. And that's something I knew that was my, my issue. I was a big spender. I love nice things. I spent money out the hoo-ha. And um, I realized God just wasn't going to bless me spending the way that I was spending. So sometimes he'll bring it back and you have to learn to manage this little. So I'm on the road to managing a little, learning to manage a little, get debt free and just live the life of my dreams. So I hope you all enjoy. Come along for the ride with me. I really appreciate you all. Don't forget, leave me a message in the comment section. Let me know how your budget is going, your weekly budget. Have you done your weekly budget? Okay, um, just let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.